Hey folks, today we're about an hour south of San Francisco on Pacific Coast Highway number one near Pescadero, California. We found a special place for glamping, eating, and hiking. Costa Noa has beautiful grounds. Today we also tell you about the great food options. We explore the rustic to luxury, sleeping options, and give you relative price ranges. We go on a short hike through the sand dunes to the Marine Reserve Beach that's adjacent to the resort. Then we go to a lighthouse. We stay in what they call the lighthouse bungalow because it has a bunk bed and a king bed. Prices vary based on the season and on whether it's a weekend or not. The lighthouse bungalow generally costs about 250 to 300. Weekends do require a two night stay. We didn't realize it at the time, but at the lighthouse bungalow we have access to the hot tub. A nice feature of the bungalows is they come with individual fire pits. The bungalows and tent cabins share what they call comfort stations, which is a restroom. It has heated floors. The outdoor showers are great for communing with nature, but they don't have hot water. The camp staff builds fires in the fireplace at night. It's great for hanging out. Throughout the property there's five comfort stations and each one has a dry sauna that's open all the time. One of the tent cabin areas is called Cypress Village and it's a little more exclusive because they have access to the hot tub. There's also more shade from trees. The price range is generally 125 to 200. The lodge has all the comforts of a fancy hotel. Bathrooms are in the units. There's a variety of room styles available and pricing is generally 250 to 400. During non-COVID times, the lodge has a spa that offers massages and there's also a hot tub. Next to the lodge are some cabins that have views of the mountain ridge. The unit quality is similar to the lodge except that they share a common comfort station. The price is generally 200 to 250. For a nominal charge, guests are allowed to bring a tent and pitch it. Part of Costa Noa is a very popular KOA RV camp. That section of the camp also has some cabins that are available for about 200 to 400. If you walk to the general store, you'll find it well stocked, but there's also a cart that roams the property with beverages. The common area is perfect for events and friendly gatherings. The giant chess set is a classic tradition that families and couples love to do. The Cascade Restaurant and Lounge is a must visit. They call it fresh coastal cuisine sourced locally. I call it a foodie bucket list. What? What do you mean? Are those pea The braised local beef and the kale salad with salmon were terrific. It doesn't hurt that there's a great bar and you get to walk home. The setting is rustic and inviting. The salmon avocado toast comes with some killer multi-green bread. Everybody agreed the potatoes were to die for. They have their own on-site garden for the restaurant. The resort has bikes available for rental. From spring through fall on the weekends, another dining option is the pine tent. It's more casual. They do frequently have bands and barbecues. The resort is adjacent to the Anna Nuevo State Park. The main entrance is further south, so this area avoids most of the crowds. It's known for elephant seals who are seen year round, but come to mate December through March. 
now we start the short jaunt across Highway 1 to the ocean and the Franklin Point Trail. We weave our way through dunes, wooden boardwalk, searching for birds as we head to what we hope will be an isolated, beautiful beach. This is called Gazo Beach. The trailhead for Franklin Point has a small parking area, so we do run across a few locals. Just south of Gazo Beach is a tide pool. In 1864, the ship Sir John Franklin crashed at this site. Thus, the name of this point. To the north is Pigeon Point. Pigeon Point Lighthouse was first lit in 1872 and named after the clipper ship carrier pigeon that ran aground in 1853. The lighthouse keepers and their families lived here until it was automated in the 1970s. Fun fact, if glamping is not your thing, there's a hostel at this lighthouse with various types of rooms available, some that are private. As you can see, the views are spectacular. Give it the thumbs up and we'll see you later.